What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be talking about why... I'm going to be talking about why lucid dreaming is hard. Why is it so difficult, right? Right? Because I'm seeing a lot of comments on my videos and other videos where you guys are saying things like, I've lucid, I've tried to lucid dream for six months, seven months, and nothing's happening. You know, I've been doing reality checks, I've been doing everything that I need to do, but I'm just not having any lucid dreams. Why not? And people are saying, you know, why is it so difficult? Why is it so impossible? I'm seeing Reddit posts, lucid dreaming is impossible. Right, now, to, let me just clear, the, let me just set the record straight with this. Any new skill that you learn, when you first learn it, depending on obviously your aptitude and you, you know the things you've learned before, any new skill is difficult. Anything is hard, right? Lucid dreaming is no exception because it's a new skill. It's not just something that you can turn on and have be part of your life. It's something that you need to build up and practice. And you know that's that's obviously the very easy answer. That's a simple answer because it's true. If you wouldn't expect to suddenly have muscles but without going to the gym or without eating right, without fixing your diet, without sleeping, you'd expect that you'd get the results when you put in the work. And lucid dreaming is no exception to this rule. You need to put in the work and you need to practice the things, the, the skills, the habits, uh, and the exercises that you need to do in order to have lucid dreams. That's There's no way around that, guys. You need to put in the work and you need to practice it. So yes, it does, it does feel difficult, it is hard to learn, but then so is everything. And to be honest, I don't really think it's that difficult. It's not as difficult as some guys are making out online, and it's certainly not impossible. Uh, especially, you know, if you're starting this with a, a newfound optimism or positivity. If you have a good attitude towards it, and if you think that it's going to work for you, then it probably will. But if you approach it after reading these posts, after reading these suggestions that it's impossible or hard or difficult or you know it's going to take years then obviously you're going to limit yourself because it's going to become like a self-fulfilling prophecy you know you think it's going to be difficult so you make it difficult for yourself subconsciously or consciously so what can you do about it how can you make it easier well i'm going to approach this like like this so there are certain habits that you can build which sort of combine together to make every habit more effective and easier so sort of like they go hand in hand okay if you try to start meditating every day forget lucid dreaming for a second right if you try to just meditate every day that would be difficult in and of itself it would be a hard habit to build because it's new right it's a new skill if you tried to write your dreams down every morning that would be difficult if you tried to improve your health, fix your diet, exercise every day, go for a walk. These things are all difficult to do at first, right? So what you want to do is you want to try and stack the habits on top of each other. This is a technique that I got from my book. I think it was called The Miracle Morning uh, with a gold and white cover. The idea is that you, cre you create these habit stacks so that you don't have to focus on all, these, all of these habits and building the, the habits up at the same time. You focus on one habit, which is a routine. You build either a morning or an evening routine, and in this routine, you put all of these habits that you want to build together, right? You build them onto the same routine. So that instead of focusing on, I need to remember to do reality checks, and then I need to remember to write my dreams down, and then I need to do, you know, I need to sort my diet plan out for the week, I need to do my exercise, I need to meditate. It gets overwhelming, right? And it's, it's too much to do. It's too much to focus on, especially in today's day and, day and age. We've got so many things to try and do. It just becomes too much. And so you give up. And that's why loads of people give up. Forget all that, okay? You just, like, just make a morning routine. Stick all of the habits that you want to have onto the routine. Make a, make a post-it note or, you know, write them all down on a piece of paper. Stick it to your wall. And at a certain time in the morning, seven or eight in the morning or whatever, whatever the time, Go through the habits and just do them one after the other. And so that when you've woken up and you meditate and then you write your dreams down and then you do a reality check and then you go for a half an hour run or whatever it is, it becomes so ingrained in your you know, psychology and in the way that you think in the mornings after you've done it for a while that it becomes weird not to do it. And that's what a habit is. It's when it becomes easier to carry on doing the thing than it does to give up and not do the thing. And this happens after usually about two to three weeks of doing something every day consistently, okay? So just do that. 
I'm not even going to tell you how to build a morning routine because you need to figure it out for yourself. It depends on which habits you want to build. Say if you're trying to write a book, okay, your morning routine could look like this. You could meditate, then do reality check, then write your dreams down, then write 10 pages of your book, then go for a run, then make breakfast. Done. Like that's all you need to do. But by doing that really simple thing of stacking the habits on top of each other, you group them into one thing so that instead of focusing on all, the, all these different things that you've got to do and overwhelming yourself, you focus on just one thing. Just do your morning routine every single day. Done.